All right, everyone. Day two project. We're gonna do the roof rack. Same thing, it, it's not the most necessary thing we have, but because we have to use lap sealant to seal the roof for leaks, we wanna make sure we get it done before it gets too cold. So we're gonna do that. Also, the roof rack gives us a platform then to work off of to cut the holes in the ceiling for the roof, or cut the holes in the roof for both the window vent and the air conditioner. The roof on the transit is fairly thin, so it dents pretty easy. This way we can put something across the roof rack and use that as a platform. So we're gonna unbox and see what we've got. This is the Unaka uh, roof rack. It is specifically for the Ford Transit. Made out of, it's made out of 8020 extruded aluminum. It is uh, one and a half inch by one and a half inch. And it looks like a pretty complete kit, so we'll see. These are brackets for the fairing. This comes with a metal fairing for the front to, as a wind deflector. So that these are the pieces for the metal fairing. These are the rack mounts themselves. I've got a little rubber pad that's attached to them already. Part of the reason I picked this rack is because it's very low profile. It's only got three quarters of an inch below uh, once you mount it all up. So that leaves a very low profile for just enough room to put a solar panel and have just a little bit to clear then for the roof glands. Each bag looks like it's labeled nicely. Rear bracket hardware driver's side, crossbar solar mount hardware, crossbar solar mount hardware again, driver's side rail hardware, side rail hardware passenger side, rear bracket hardware, wind fairing hardware, and the top wind fairing. And the rubber gasket for the wind fairing so it doesn't rub on the roof rack or doesn't rub on the roof. Nice. Actually, they, again, same thing. They've got these labeled very well. It's just a black 8020 style extrusion. It doesn't say that it's actually 8020, but we don't actually use 8020 either, but it's just an extruded aluminum. That is a heavy duty wind fairing. Eighth inch or greater aluminum, so that is a nice wind fairing. No vibration on that side rails, that's what these are. So it actually has nice side rails that go down the side to close that in. This is what you then you can mount things to the uh, channels for the solar panels and the, again, we're going to mount an awning so forth on there. These are actually very nice too. And because of the way this is built, I mean, it's all cut out very nicely. It'll actually fit real well, but also it decreases the wind that will go underneath there. If you have just this mounted to the side, it'll block then some of the wind. It'll make the van more continuous, which I think will be better for wind noise and hopefully even aerodynamics. Hopefully it won't change the gas mileage too much. And these are then the cross members for the solar panels. They're built basically to house the solar panel in here so it's flush along the top. Again, very nice compact package. You know, could you build a lot of this stuff? Could you just buy extruded aluminum and put together a rack for cheaper? You could, but you won't get components that are cut out this well and that are put together specifically for mounting the solar panels or, you know, uh, this good of a wind deflector. I like to fabricate a lot of the stuff that I use, but this was so well put together, it just made sense to buy it in a kit instead. All right, there's the kit. 
Hey, we're back. So we had to do a few things this morning. We had... No, no, no. We didn't. <laughs> I did. I had got a new monofin, so I had to test that out. He was my film guy. And now, project two is the roof rack. Reason being is we're going to do the roof rack first before we start on the air conditioner and the max air fan. Yeah, that way we can sit on top of this instead of sitting on top of the van. The van roof structure is actually fairly thin. I don't want to dent that so we can right. now sit on this then while we're working up top to put things on top of why we install the max air fan and the air conditioner. Yes. So this is Unaka. Yep. From Unaka. Go check out also Explorist. Explorist Van Life is they have a kit. This is not that exact kit because we don't have the solar panels that go beside right. the fans and so forth. It's a little different than that. Um, but it is the same basic roof rack. Right, but it is nice. Everything's cut out. We got all the bolts and nuts and everything that we need to get this done. We'll see how easy it is to put together. I don't know yeah. if it's easy, but it looks like it is. So we're gonna try our hand at it and uh, let's get going. Got my coffee. He's got his Dr. Pepper. Right, we're, good we're ready. Go. <laughs> okay, we've laid it out. This is the front. Driver side, passenger side. We have all the boats. I took a picture, so if you guys are building this, then you can see it as well. All the way around. So we put it on top of boxes on cardboard so it doesn't get all scratched up. This is anti season. We're putting anti season all the stainless steel parts. Stainless steel tends to gall, so putting stainless steel into a nylock, it can gall, so we put anti-seize on it to help prevent that from happening. Oh, shoot. Just shoot, and then don't <laughs> get it messy in the jar. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Give it a hand. Uh -huh. Now, we're still going to take this stuff off, but if you look, see the hole is not lined up. And that's um. supposed to be very common in these. So we're going to have to trim the metal back and then repaint that part. Okay, just a little piece of advice that I've come to realize in taking some of these off. Don't heat them. Heating them makes them come apart and leaves more rubber. If you don't heat them, once you get it up a little bit, just pull it off by hand. Like so. See how much cleaner that is? On the ones that we heated, it broke the adhesive and it pulled a piece apart and it left a lot more residue there. So don't heat them, just pry them and peel them off. And you can see again, some of these are lined up okay. So far, all three of these I think will work without widening that hole. So you can see here the first three I heated, and you can see how much residue that left, how much of the rubber separated away from the cover. This one I didn't heat, and all of those I didn't heat. You can see the difference here and how much is, how clean it is. I noticed that when this one peeled off, that I'd heated real well. But I noticed that one didn't heat as well on that side. So you can see how this is misaligned, but it's close, so we can actually thread that in there. It's touching that edge, so I'm not happy with that. So I think just a little tap on this to bend it down will be enough to solve that problem. Let's 
So yeah, now we chip that off, so we'll repaint that. Now, this should thread in there, and it, now it doesn't touch that edge. Do I like that? It does move this down a little bit, but the foot is, you know, so big, so that won't change that. Now this one is so far off, I don't think I'm just gonna be able to tap that away. So I'm just gonna make a couple of small cuts in the sheet metal. <laughs> So that way, I have more room to fold that under. Ooh, that's not good. So this one, and I'm gonna chase all these anyway. You can tell this one, the nuts hurt or whatever that is in there is definitely the threads are not good. You can feel that. The other two were fine, but it tightened up. So I'm gonna chase all of them no matter what, whether they got a little paint in there or what, but I'm gonna chase them all to make sure they're all good. What do you mean by chase? I'm gonna put a tap in there and run the tap through there. Okay. So I'm gonna paint these and I put a little piece of plastic underneath so I don't get it into the threads. Passenger side of the roof rack. I'm putting the roof rack wind fairing together and it has then two brackets that attach it. They are different. There's a little notch in the bottom bracket that's explained in the instructions. And then they just get loose. There's some room to maneuver here, so they just get loosely attached. At this point in time, when we get it up there, you'll do your final attachments. There's the wind fairing. Project two roof rack is in. We didn't put it in any of the cross bracings yet because those aren't going to be permanent yet, but the main roof rack is in. Yay! <laughs> Where do we just finish? Oh, we finished the air conditioning and the max air fan. It took us, what, a couple of weekends? 